Welcome back. I'm your king. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, your king. I'm a bad in. Right into the mic, I sniffed. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode of XCOM Chimera Squad, we're gonna put this game on the shelf, end it all off, shut it down for a while, probably come back to it later. For the meantime, that's all at the end of this episode. For now, we must take down Atlas. Alright, also went ahead and swapped out. I bought that reflex sight from last time, remember to get that again. And gave that back, not gave that back, but gave it to Claymore and took away the um, impact frame because he doesn't really move around too much or get close enough to be using uh, Subdue to need to have that damage boost at least. So, I took that away and gave him the reflex shot, meaning he can shoot at the beginning of his turn now if he really wants to, or if I really want him to. Whichever way, who's controlling who here? Anyways, first unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. I'd say that's fine for Torque because not, I think she has a free reload and along with that she also has her bind and tongue pull. Or tongue pull and bind I guess if I should say them in the right order. But anyway, she has those things. And it's now that those um, blue screen rounds and all the stuff that we have on patchwork are gonna come in handy i guess i just set it up too early or something i don't really know where i went wrong there let's have them aim with the one that furthest in the back who's this patchwork she can do 10 to 12 damage to whichever one she goes for i was hoping she'd have a better aim go on this one compared to the other one which is why i had them going for the one further away but she was able to one shot that mech so we might be able to take this one out right now Yep. And that's why I had her the bring those in. showed an empty area just inside the wall. How was I supposed to know it was Shrike's firing range? Yeah, he did bring I'm us in in a again. shitty spot. All right. Who can we see the tongue pull? We have a chance to pull 77. There's no real point to drop this poison because the only one I could hit is like individual units. So we might be better off from here taking the one enemy that we can see I've got you. and this will take them out of the turn and they're gonna be they were pretty close up next too go ahead and bind them just go to sleep the blue skin rounds are definitely better than i thought they were if it's possible i should try and get them before i go against who brings all the, the robots sacred coil before i go against sacred coil and then level patchwork up more too so this one in the turn now also right i don't really need to use any turn code grenades here there's not that many hostile units are not hostile units but just um i guess biological units yeah Use a sticky grenade on the second Sticky person. This will get them to move closer to eight or Look four, out. which is what I was hoping for. Although it's it looks like it didn't over. do damage to the, well, now that three person. Has a weak point. They went to Overwatch. I don't know why he's standing like that or why it looked like that. He's standing all the way. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. He's like looking over that corner. Everything is so grouped up in here. And I know I always end up using this at the beginning, but I don't know. It doesn't make sense not to use it, I think. Discharging. So that already oh clears goodness. out two of them. And then one of them is left almost dead. Can swap places with the number. Can we see them from here? Let's swap places with 
the number four person because that's going to put him in position to just be subdued by somebody then we can take them in for extra intel although at this point it's pretty pointless and then use soul fire here and push them down there's never enough ammo you can sustain that bind You're dead. to take them out and i guess it didn't matter when they went and took their turn since either way they, i really guess they did me. the same thing why is my oh we just got shot by a disabling thing well now you can use subdue even though i did just talk about how i took away something so you Arrested because you didn't use subdue that often it was whatever i guess Can move closer and then take this shot and this should increase our chances to hit only by one percent though probably because of where i ended up putting her like i can put her in an angle to this little wall thing so maybe that's what they got me what happens if i just shoot oh wait no i can just use subdue Which I probably could have did on Patchwork's turn too, but wasn't paying attention. I don't think they know you're here. Okay, they know. Get a move on. I'm seeing a lot of activity on the 80th floor. Uh, there's an elevator ahead. It should take you right there. I regret my inability to request an airstrike. An airstrike would be easier, but since we're in the city, you know. Now we can spread them both out to be in pretty good positions. We don't need to heal or anything. I can still save the scan for the last one of the last encounters. Patrick's gonna have to go here. And shelter. Shelter's gonna go ahead and use that ceasefire bomb. And then bring Twerk in over here. And she can use her hollow scanner. Alright. Opening a side door. Someone was immune to that. I don't see how. No, that wasn't the scan. That was the. Out. That was the weapon disabler. Interesting. Yep. Definitely don't know why I did that. Hopefully my game doesn't crash because. Definitely looks like it could. Okay, here we go. They're also ruptured. And we have a good chance to hit them. Weird to see those two in the background. Especially because how they angled the entrance too. It made it seem like they were to the left of them, not the right. What is this? Why is this noise going for so long? I don't know if it's loud to y'all, but it's just like it sounds like a broken record. Off of uh I think it came from Torque Shot. Hope this thing ends automatically. All right, cool. I don't, I don't know what that was. The elevator needs a key card. One of these Shrike goons must have it on them. All right. There, grab that key card and head to the 80th floor. I'm the, we might as well have gone back downstairs and got a lift up there or something. Especially since I could just cut the ties to this elevator too. This will end the turn if I do it now. 88 here. At 30. Or not a, even at 30, a 40% there. This was just a normal shot. Okay. Now, what is this? A dominator, I think, or a paladin? I say a dominator. They do mind control type stuff, right? Yeah, they do. They like verge, basically. What are the paladins? They give buffs, right? I don't know what this mind merge thing does. I don't know why. Oh, that was that grenade that I said. Okay. I don't know why that blew up, but I I was the one who set that down. There's poison over there. 
kick him poison to block off his entrance. Who can you see the tongue pool? Just take a shot here. Yeah, let's just use some do here. I was gonna try and tongue pull the resonant and use uh subdue on them, but they have the key cards, so you should take them out first and figure out where we need to go. And now they're starting to buff each other a bunch too. Since pretty much all the psionics are on this floor. We can just shock them and take them out. That's acid, not poison. Need to remember that. I was confused on why it would be poison, then I noticed the difference in colors. You can only see teammates. Move over to here. You should have a well not even should. You do have a pretty clear angle on the number two person. Set him with soul fire, actually. And this will push him down in the turn order. Now, I know we lost Claymore's next turn, but this does just get it over with. We could always use team up to get his turn back too if we really wanted to, but I don't think I don't think we need to. Plus one action. Tyranny. I think I think the Paladin just gave the sorcerer another action. So that the sorcerer could give the paladin another action. Can you see the number two person? She is standing There's out no in the open. That missed. I believe in you. No, I need to move her to cover. Watch me move. Didn't real almost didn't realize that her, all of her cover was broken. Then I still almost shot afterwards. There's so much stuff connected them now. This might stun and disorientate them Shocking also. Master. Marginal as always. Now they're immune to mental effects. Probably because they hit the shield instead of their actual their actual body. That or just sorcerers have that ability. Damn, she got everything saving her. That's fine though, because we still did we did get a kill from that anyways. Still get the kill from that? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say at first. We do need to hurry up and get into this room. I have a present for you. I was hoping he would move closer to the other person. Who's next? Torque. Move into this poison because that's gonna heal. At least I think it does, right? And bind them to Let take them out. On. Cool. I had a feeling that would kill them also. And then she does heal from the poison at the end of her turn. Mm. 
I'm gonna stop moving these people towards the exit. I think I spent. Ooh, why isn't he immune to poison like he used to be? Anyways, I want to get start getting them out of this room because we don't need to be here anymore. Our objective isn't to kill everything, which is I, which is what I usually get stuck trying to do. Instead of just leaving and doing the actual objective. Hopefully everything takes a move to uh I was gonna say if he hit through the wall, obviously doesn't have an angle. Game's on bullshit. Go ahead and heal her. I'll fix you up. And overwatch the front door in case anything tries I'll to get closer to get a better better shot on us. Still don't see how he's getting an angle straight through the wall. There's no angle around that help? corner. Heading over. You can all blue level other. You can also overwatch this door. Damn, this dude is barely finna make it. That's another thing, reason why I don't like Claymore. His mobility is so low that he feels almost unplayable. At least just for how I like to move. I want to be able to get people from point A to B in a reasonable amount of time. And he's always way behind. You'll be completely exposed out there. This is the tallest building around. Yeah, at least there aren't snipers on high. All right. Uh, tie, entering through this, entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter. Claymore can lead through with patchwork and a scan. I know there's people who are damaged, so I don't know why it's trying to tell me that there's not an entort last. Entering. Okay. We have a lot of alert enemies and a lot of um hostiles i'm gonna start with the hostiles you might kill them completely with this one shot which is what i'm hoping for yep hopefully she can kill with her shot or you can miss completely great I was hoping to be able to go for the um the guardian as well before he drops his shield for everybody but i think he's still gonna get that off or they are if it stays where it is it's still gonna get uh blown up either way though it's ruptured so it's gonna take more damage whenever we do decide to shoot at it these two are also pretty grouped up, Grenade so it might be out. nice to have them shoot at each other. Especially dealing that bonus damage, too. Also, with the Berserk, the number two person might lose their turn. I'll help you leave. And go for this shot here. Now, if they don't leave from that, um explosion for whatever reason like the berserk for example yeah now those two are both gonna die before their turns come in and if my mouse would stop well not my mouse if i would stop mousing over stuff be easier to do what i'm trying to do uh Grenade out. and shred away some of this armor so we're trying to do as much damage right now as we can possibly get them blown up oh i wonder if i talk try and do as much damage as we can to them they're gonna die already so will they if i shock them how much damage will that do it's only gonna do four so let's just go for a shot on them hopefully deal enough damage that they die by the acid on their turn that's what i was going for at least 
but I don't think I pulled that off. Yeah. Although if I rolled max and then it did three damage, I would have had it. And you can teleport with, you can see them. See, I go to teleport Switching. with them. But you can use soul fire on, fire on them about. and knock them down the turn. I've never used Vicious Bite, I think. Stork rears up and swiftly strikes an adjacent target with a devastating bite, dealing major damage and applying a poison. I like it, why not? It recharges too. Interesting. It's pretty cool how our eyes turned red. But also, she didn't really rear up. She just kind of looked at him and bit him. This will kill for sure. Ruining the hostile's day. Didn't think he would run that towards us because he says fall back. And we never Next had an issue with that before. Hit. Let's get her up as far as I'm we can moving. just so we'll be ready for whatever comes through. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be a lot of brutes and paladins and like muton types. I said paladins again. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Praetorian. The muton type of uh, characters. Heading out. At least that's what it was the last time Zombie I played the boss. I'm trying to get people. Is this poison? No, that's acid. Trying to start getting people moved up into better positions. Yep. They're just uh, a bunch of Muton type. Um, are Muton raced classes of enemies? Praetorians, bombers, brutes. Uh, is that all of them? Praetorians, bombers, and brutes? I feel like there's one more. You're immune to this. Heading over there. So you still have pretty decent cover, if not from actual angles, but by um just the range in general. They're all pretty grouped up, so chaining Joe will deal more than just the damage to the one. If I hit them, was gonna chain to the other two? No. Let's try and make this Freight's Horn lose its turn and also deal a guaranteed 4 damage. And then the damage that jumps is... Whoa, we can see it there. I think it's between 1 and 3, right? And who are they trying to do? I assume it's... Yeah, Shelter. Run. Yeah, I'm okay. Get off. You'll make it. What's that bomb? Target acquired. I was gonna say, there's no way that shot should hit. Not with a shotgun at that range. We're gonna use the fractured now because we have a lot of heavy hitting units and a lot more people coming in. So, can you switch with patchwork? Because you aren't real, and I don't want that bomb to deal damage to Patchwork. And then you can use Soul Fire on, yeah, whoever's coming next. Use Chain Shot on them and take them out. You have a 66% chance on them. What would a normal shot do? A normal shot wouldn't possibly take them out. Frag out. Okay, I got rid of his armor, so now you might die from this normal shot. Cool. That's what I was trying to do. Target gone. Keep it. 
Miss? Yeah, I'm gonna say you're disoriented. There's no way you can hit. If I move up to here, do I have an angle on the dude Use coming the next, exercise. number two? Hostiles know you're coming. Looks like number two is still out of range, though. I forgot about the Legionnaires. Yeah, come here. They were definitely the worst ones, though. Because I think they were just dudes with shotguns. Don't struggle. We're buying this one because it's going to take one of them out either way. Did she get the increased armor? Is that what I did? No. I have your number now. Yeah, I did not do that for her. Enough of this. Ooh, and we didn't skip that turn. So all we did was put them Thanks in our face. That. Now we got a bunch of adders and a purifier. We pay the cost. We need to remember that all of those snake type units are going to be immune to the poison as well. Although none of them I know are, have any real psionic defense. Okay. Cool, they're spreading the damage around for us. If I can get this just a little further, I'll be able to deal damage to a whole bunch of them. No, I can't get more than just these two. Now, where are you at? You're right here in front of them. I wish Cheney Joel didn't end the turn. That way I could use it without worrying about it. I do still want to go ahead and move you, though. I'll put you right here. Then I want to use Chaining Joel up in this corner. This is going to deal a bunch of damage to those around it. My disorientator Dying stunned the them too. Painful. One stunned and two disorientated. The one whose turn is next got disorientated too, so that's good. I'm not disorientated. They got stunned, but whatever. You know what I mean. And you can use chain shot on them. I'm gonna do something to the number three, but I'm trying to find someone I can switch with and still have a good angle on them and not be in a terrible position. Looks like the number 10 dude is gonna be the best for something like that. This also push them back down in the order. Chain shot on number three. See if we can take them out right now. First one hit and critted, so that's good. And then our second shot, which all he did was get closer about. and increase the chance that we'd hit. Good work. You locate with number seven. Changing locale. And then use ride on number two. This way you'll hear yourself. I don't know what the turn limit is on this dude. I know he can die. I'm hoping he can go until he dies. Although he hoping he doesn't die as I'm saying that either. Those. This will only deal damage to these two. I almost forgot about how those things were all. Uh. Immune to poison. 
pull this bomber closer right drop poison on myself Splattered a hostile. and then bind the last dude yeah 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 <laughs> i'm pretty good at least i'd like to think so now she's gonna start healing while she stands in this poison too The historian said it's still at a decent range. Yep. You have my undivided attention. Clemmer has a clean shot on the number three person. But before we do that, we can drop a grenade over here that's gonna go off before both of them. It's also gonna rupture them too, so when we get to uh shelter's time, he'll be able to do some damage to him. Now, is one shotgun a shotgun to kill you? If I crit, I might, and I have a pretty good chance to crit. Yup. He said the talent rounds are coming in handy there. Because I think this python has more health. If you want to get this way, that grenade might kill them both. Yep. All right. Stop. Damn. How do you? Oh. Uh, he was stunned on his last turn. I thought he was going to be stunned this time and lose his uh ability. And not lose his ability, but just lose his turn. Relocate with number three. And then. Who can you see? Who's left? Where are the people that are left? And you so far on them. It might kill them, but either way it's gonna push them down. Thought that was a miss. And tongue pulled them. They're wide open too to be pulled. Now the poison, go ahead and bind them. Just go to sleep. And then she should heal again too. Running out of ammunition. Oh. Throwing See if we can get them to move up into this grenade. With this uh sticky grenade. Here. Catch. So they did almost die anyways though. That was weird. Because they definitely don't or shouldn't be in the middle. Don't die, I guess. Uh oh yeah, this is weird. Interesting. I think it's cool how they have their whole table for planning out two similar to XCOM. Successful shots during the breach will stun. Let's have Claymore go through there. Actually, no, let's have Shelter go through there. No, because he's not good at aiming. So Patchwork can go through there. Plus mobility for even one round, Claymore can get that. Plus the defense or dodge. You can get the plus the defense, you can get the plus the dodge. Ready to go. Breaching now. I'll probably end up using Dazzle in here. I was planning on doing that even before I saw the people in here. Man, we have quite a few things in here. Let's start by trying to get this running out of the uh just out of the way in general because they do too much running around. This does with this one, it looks pretty central to everybody, so this might get most all of them. 
Yeah, we got quite a few of them. Go for this stall because we might take them out. No. I probably should have had him go for the highest. The one that he was most likely to hit, too. I forgot his shot was going to stun. That's a miss. Two misses. Three. Four. Great. Uh, five misses, one graze though, and then another one hit, but the both of them didn't do much damage. Lay down your arms. It's Chimera Squad. And screw you for all you've done, pal. All I've done? I've reminded this city what it needs to survive. You don't know what you're talking about. The elders will return. We can only defeat them by tearing the weakness from our hearts. Was that why you killed the mayor? A handful of casualties today, or a whole world tomorrow. It's an easy choice. And you are the only one willing to make that call. How magnanimous. You won't acknowledge the stakes? Fine. Shrike, destroy them. Okay. First thing I want you to do is use team up on like Torque. Torque has good cover. Maybe Claymore then. He's used team up on Claymore actually because he can drop some bombs out there near near people who won't be able to move for a while. And what can we see from here? Sovereign is the number three dude. Who might you be able to bench? You can drop a grenade on them. Drop it in such a way this thing blows up, that way they don't have cover anymore either. Never mind, thing did not blow up. Thought it was gonna go. Try to target until you run out of ammo or it dies. That's fifty six percent chance to hit. Has she moved at all? No. I kind of want to go for it and see if we can take them out quickly. Damn. I should clean my glasses. Oh, we're just going to keep shooting at them. We're just going to keep time. shooting with that 56% chance. Almost oh no, it's a 60% chance. I've done worse. I mean, she still has quite a few shots. That extended magazine that she has is really helping her out. And he, of course, he had to go into stasis or sustain because he is the main bad guy. And we took him out before he got his turn. So. I definitely misunderstood how that ability worked, though. I thought it was always going to be. Um, like. If the first shot missed, then the rest of them weren't going to go. But I guess that's chain shot, right? Do have turn coat grenades? What's wrong with him? They're disorientated. <laughs> Nothing's really grouped up enough to use a turn coat grenade. Three's in our two's in stasis. Three is disorientated. Where's four? That's four, but we can't really do anything about them right now. Let's hit 12. Grenade see if we can out. do something against them. Although I don't think I'll be able to because I didn't realize 12 didn't have a gun at first. I see my quarry. They said immune to berserk, but they still took a shot, so that's fine. Trunk is Yeah, that's I realized who would shot or what it shot, I guess. And how not beneficial that was since it just made them gain more health. Or not health but armor. They're still immune to the poison that they have. They're disorientated. Damn. I'm not doing well at all. It almost took them out. Okay, that hurt. 
I know it's putting her in a bad spot, but think. oof. Enemies really take advantage of it. Tossing frag. It feels like we started all the way over, but I don't think we did get all of our health back. Yeah, because we don't have that. I thought I'd already thrown his grenade, is why I'm confused. Anyways, we can use this also. Yeah, because you have your health kit back, which you shouldn't have. But you can use subdue right here. Target is under arrest. You can you can switch spots with number two. Which pushes them down to four. We have a 76% chance to hit them here. You should kill if you hit with both. Not very effective. Oh, I think I looked at that wrong. I don't know if, what happened with that second shot. It was invisible, but I guess it hit since they gained armor. What is that going to do? Increase all of the armor too? That's a miss. Yeah, I definitely played that last turn wrong too. I did not mean to put him in a position right there and also get his turn. Cause all I did was really move him for himself. I don't think he's flanking anybody though, so that's not bad. It's not the worst, at least. Even a swing. You cannot keep me down. And see if we can grab one of these ones. All of them have pretty high health. This hit all of them, Breathe or in. both of them. I don't know why it's not poisoning the number two person. Also, it didn't say that was going to end my turn, so that's shitty. But oh well. They should die of poison on their turn, or the acid on their turn. If I hit this one, it's not going to change to them. If I hit this one, it will chance all of them. Let's do it this way. It goes at, that goes ahead and gets the sovereign dude out of here. And then jumps damage between a few of them. Although it looks like it's not doing it for some reason. There it goes. And we did stun them too, so that's good. He's just gonna skip that turn. Do I need to rapid fire on them? I don't. Uh, 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 shrapnel bomb. Right, can go way out here. Throwing explosive. I can work with that. Then you can take this normal shot on them. Target dropped. Interesting. It screamed as if we it was a berserker or something, but I know it's it not. I forgot about that thrall up there. Oh, you'll regret that. I think that grenade is going to deal damage to both of them, so I don't want to move in there. I have to move. You can move around to this side and take a shot at this thrall. Take a shot at this thrall. I was going to say this should also be pretty high. I stopped the hostile. They're stunned still, shredded some armor. They're poisoned and taking damage slowly. Okay, that's their first move and then a shot. Are they carrying, they do carry pistols, huh? I forgot about that. You should return the favor. Go ahead and sung for them. Uh, can you poison spin on yourself? No, you can't. This? I said, I don't know if they're getting about to get that turn or not. The berserk was removed, so yeah, they're gonna take that turn. I 
what I expected them to do. I don't think that really helps them out so much either, though. Also, don't know what getting right there is gonna do. Don't. Okay, don't like never mind. I feel like I wouldn't have got that same angle if it was uh me going for it, but whatever. You can get right here. I know they're gonna go for the for shelter the entire time. So don't have to worry about them. It's only this uh sorcerer that I have to worry about. And she's missing 93s, that was I am low on ammunition. Oh my goodness. Can't rely on my team for shit. Finding a better spot. Be careful. We're gonna take this shot. Could not get past the armor. The goal is not to hit the armor. This will push them down. Well, I don't need to do that actually. Let's get right here. Going over there. Hopefully, I can still use Riot from this angle and heal a little bit. Yep. Take them out. Thought that was a Dude miss. thought he was gonna do something until I stole his fucking life force out his body. And then you can release the vine and also actually yeah, release the vine. And then tongue pull. Oh uh, damn! I was hoping we'd be able to see the sorcerer in the corner. Hail of bullets, hundred percent chance hit. Reach a hail of bullets that is guaranteed to hit your target, but uses a lot of ammunition. She has poison bullets also. So they're gonna die on their turn now. Yep. And then you can just beat them to death. Arrested another target. Jesus Christ. This mission took me 50 minutes to record. Now this is no more. Better yet, you captured all kinds of intel on their plans and operations, including the death of Mayor Nightingale. City of 31 can rest easy tonight. Now get back to base. The director has authorized some much needed R&R. &R. Chimera Squad. The director has arrived. At ease. One month ago, you were understaffed, outgunned, and in temporary housing. Hey, the place had character. And rats. Don't forget the rats. <clears throat> now, the entire squad is here with the latest and greatest from XCOM HQ. City 31 is in good hands. Hostage situation in Old Town. We'll need all hands for this one. Chimera Squad, form up and load in. I'm sorry for interrupting. You made my point. Go on, do your jobs. Reclamation is entrenched. Our assets burned. We have no options. The battle for City 31 is lost, but XCOM doesn't realize they're already at war. And when they do? It will be too late. Had six agents maxed out. I started talking with my mic muted. Uh, I think most of them were on the team by the end, too. We didn't just get them maxed and then drop them. We killed entirely more than we captured in this playthrough. We only got four flawless missions, but I think that's more than the last playthrough. Can't remember. 16 stars less like exponentially. I don't think I don't know if we even got one in the last playthrough. I think we didn't get any. Either that or we got one. But yeah, that's right. That's all for XCOM for now.
thanks for watching and i'll see y'all next time don't forget to subscribe and watch other stuff that i do okay bye